Let's do this question. It says Tanya is M years old. Sandra is six times as old as Tanya. Part A. Write an expression in M to show Sandra's age. Now let's read the question again. It says Tanya is M years old. Sandra is six times as old as Tanya. So do not get confused because they used a variable instead of a number. We must read this question and try to understand what it is saying. So for part A, it says write an expression in M to show Sandra's age. This question is saying Tanya is M years old. So for Tanya, we know Tanya is going to be M years old. Therefore, we're representing Tanya's age with a variable, and that variable is M. Now, for Sandra, it says Sandra is six times as old as Tanya. We can write Sandra. And we know Sandra is going to be six times as old as Tanya. So it says times, so we're going to multiply. And we know Tanya is going to be M years old. Therefore, we're just going to say 6 times M. Now, we know we can write 6 times M as 6M. For part A, it says write an expression in M to show Sandra's age. And because they want us to write an expression in M to show Sandra's age, we know that answer is going to be 6M. Because Sandra is six times as old as Tanya. Therefore, we're just going to write 6M. Now for part B, it says the sum of their ages is 63. The first part of B says write an equation to show this information. Now I just want to explain something. When you see the word expression, we're not going to have an equal sign. But when we see the word equation, we're going to have an equal sign. So for the first part of B, where it says, write an equation to show this information for the sum of their ages, which is 63, we know all this question is saying is we're going to add Tanya's age plus Sandra's age, and that's going to equal to 63. So for example, we know we're going to have Tanya. plus Sandra equals 63. But this will not be our answer. We're now going to have to substitute in the age for Tanya and for Sandra. So for Tanya, the age is going to be M plus for Sandra, we know the age is going to be 6M. equals 63 and remember the reason why we're adding this is because it says the sum of their ages and we know the sum is going to refer to addition now for the first part of i our answer therefore is going to be m plus 6m equals 63 now for the second part it says solve your equation to find Sandra's age. Well, now let's look at this one. So they want us to now solve this equation to find Sandra's age. All right, now let's solve this. We're adding using algebra. And when adding using algebra, the first thing we do is we look to see whether we're adding like terms. When we look at these two terms, they have the same variable, which is m, and they have the same exponent, which is one. Because they have the same variable and exponent, we can say these are like terms. And even though there isn't any number or coefficient in front of Tanya's age, which is m, we know it's always going to have a coefficient of 1. Therefore, we can rewrite this as 1m plus 6m equals 63. 
Now we know we're just going to add this because they're like terms. And when we add this, we're just going to add the coefficients and keep the variable. 1 plus 6 is going to give us 7. So we end up with 7m equals 63. And now we want to solve for the variable, which is m. And to find for the variable m, we're going to have to divide both sides by 7. When we divide both sides by 7, we know this will cancel over this. Therefore, m equals 63 divided by 7 is going to give us 9. And we automatically know that because 7 times 9 equals 63. So you see, it is very important that you memorize and know your times table. It's going to save you a whole lot of time. Now, once we have m equals 9, we know m is going to be Tanya's age. Therefore, we can say Tanya is 9 years old. Do you follow? But as you can see for part 2, it says solve your equation to find Sandra's age. So we know to find Sandra's age, we know Sandra is 6 times m, which is 6m. Therefore, we're going to have to multiply 9 by 6. So we know Sandra is going to be 6m, or 6 multiplied by m. And we can write this as 6 times m. And in this question, m equals 9. And when we solve for this, 6 times 9 is going to give us 54. So this is going to be our answer. And we're just going to write our answer in the space provided. We know Sandra's age is going to be 54. So Sandra is 54 years old.